Hey you guys, so today I am here for my first Top 5 Wednesday video in such a long time. I don't think I have done one of these since my sophomore year, uh, the end of my sophomore year. I'm not even kidding. I just watched the last one that I ever did and that is just crazy to me. I can't believe I've neglected it for so long and I really like these month's topics for February so I'm going to start doing them again. Again, I will be selective with them so I won't do one if I really don't like the topic or I don't know what to do but I did really like this one. I probably, after filming this video, will realize that I forgot it's one of the ones I wanted to mention or something, but you know what? That's how life works. So these are the first five that I thought of. Uh, I haven't even told you the topic yet. What am I doing? This week's topic is top five badass characters, and oh my gosh, there are so many I could pick for this. Honestly, I'm going to cheat a little bit and pick a book and then pick two characters from some of them because I just can't choose, okay? It's too hard. Again, I am not numbering these in any particular order. It's not like five, four, three, two, one. It's just whichever one is on top of the stack. The first one I'm going to be talking about is The Count of Monte Cristo from The Count of Monte Cristo by Alexander Dumas. He's such a badass. Like, he's so cool. He tricks all these people and gets revenge and he's just so awesome. He's so intelligent and cool and charming and I just... He's, he's a badass, okay? He's fantastic. Next, two people I want to talk about from the same book are Annabeth and Percy. I mean, come on. Considering what they do and what they go through and everything that is going on with them, I'm pretty sure they deserve to be called badass. I mean, look at them. I mean, you can't look at them. But you know what I'm talking about if you've read them. I think they're badass. Next, Selena. How can I not pick Selena from Throne of Glass by Sarah J Moss? I mean... She's just so, I mean, she's like the number one assassin in the realm, right? Pretty sure that makes her count as a badass. I mean, number one assassin in the realm, everyone's terrified of her, and she's attractive, so she's charming. She, like, ensnares people in her little web, but then she can also kick your butt. So, pretty sure, pretty sure she deserves to be in here. I have another set of, set of many characters. I'm pretty sure everyone in this book I Tell You I Love You But Then I Have to Kill You by Ali Carter deserves to be considered a badass. I mean, come on. All of the books, I think, that Ali Carter writes, all of her characters deserve to be called this because, number one, this is a book about spies. There are girl spies and boy spies. There's a school for girl spies and a school for boy spies. And they're all just kicking butt all the time and they're so intelligent. And I think that constitutes a badass for me. You're super intelligent but you also can like fight and take care of yourself. I think that combo just, it's killer. It's killer. That constitutes a badass for me. I mean all of her friends are badasses. Cammy is, Bex is, Zach is, all of his friends. Macy, Macy. They're all so cool. You have to read this. Also, Ali Carter's High Society series. I didn't think to put this in there, but now I'm putting it in here. The High Society series. Those characters are badass too. They're thieves. And the last characters that I'm talking about are from Harry Potter. I didn't want to take them all out of my box set, so I'm just showing you this beautiful edition of the Sorcerer's Stone. Um, I, Hermione and Harry. I mean, I think clearly Hermione and Harry deserve the badass award. They're amazing. They kick butt all the time. They're intelligent and brave and they have good instincts and they can take care of themselves and I mean they face Voldemort. I mean Hermione faces Bellatrix. Harry has to face Voldemort. They all have to face people and it's terrifying and I just, I think they deserve the award. So that was my top five Wednesday video for this Wednesday. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I had so much fun doing that. I haven't, I haven't done one of those in such a long time and I've been watching some of my old videos from sophomore and beginning of junior year and it is, it's so lovely to see that. Um, I've been feeling, I'm about to go into a little discussion that I've been wanting to have with you guys actually. I've been feeling like my content was getting a little bit stale. It felt like I was putting up videos for the sake of putting up videos because I needed to have content on my channel and I was feeling stressed out about it and that's really not the way I want to feel and I finally started getting back into the swing of things where I really want to film and I really want to make all this content and I'm starting to think up of ideas that I want to do and it's just so great and I went back and watched some of my older more popular videos just to see. I, I always think it's interesting to look at the videos that have the most likes and the most views that I used to have which were before my junior year and that makes total sense because junior year was a very stressful year for me. There were months, whole months where I just didn't post and 
even when I did post, it was a lot of like, sorry, I didn't read this month, sorry, I didn't post this month. It was a lot of excuses and a lot of me being stressed out and just not in it. And so it totally makes sense that in that year, I just didn't make good content. I wasn't bad, but it wasn't good either. And I know that a lot of you are going to say, no, but we love your videos. And those of you that stuck with me through that time, I appreciate you so much because I don't even know if I would have. I feel like I'm in a really good place and I'm really happy with where my channel is going. And I'm just, I don't know, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I think that's, I think that's the whole point. And I'm really, really happy about what I have to share with you guys. Now, I just want to remind you to go vote for the author of the month for March. I have narrowed it down to the top five from the poll of last month that I did for March and I will also be setting one up for April so that we can narrow it down to a top five and then narrow it down to the number one. So that's how I've been doing it. I've decided I put a ton at once and I leave that up for about two weeks narrow it down top five, then I make a new poll, and then I leave it up for the whole month to figure out what the number one will be. So please go vote so that you can pick the number one of the month because by the time you see this video, the poll with the top five in it will be up. So I'm really excited to be doing this. I feel like this is a much more interactive experience. If you haven't joined the group yet, I'll leave the link to it down below so you can go join the group. You're really not obligated to do anything if you don't want to. If one month an author is chosen and you're just like, I'm not interested, that's okay. You don't have to participate that month. There's a month where you're like, oh my goodness, I've been waiting to read this author for such a long time. Now I finally have an excuse to. That's great too. So it's honestly just whatever you want to do. You can read at your own pace. You can just read one book by that author if you want to. It's just to get people reading more of a specific author because a lot of the times we'll read one book in a series because we're like, oh, I'll read Cinder this month. And then we never continue with the series because we're like, oh, but I have to read all these other books. And the point is to kind of, you know, finish that series or read a bunch by a particular author instead of just one. So that's the whole point of this group and I know I just talked about a ton of things in this video. I think I might make these videos kind of a what's going on as well. So you know I do the beginning of the video with the top five Wednesday and then I kind of transition to a what's going on at the end instead of a random fact because it's kind of like a random fact except it's a little more informational. So thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that all my social media links are down below. If there's anything missing, let me know. But down there is like my Twitter and my Facebook, my Instagram, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.